my beautiful friends and welcome back to another video. I hope you have been keeping very well. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you four really easy and delicious vegan single serve dessert recipes because, well, sometimes you just want to have dessert alone. All of these recipes are very quick to make. They don't require an oven or a microwave and yeah they're really really delicious so I hope that you enjoy them. If you do try any of these recipes at home make sure to tag me on Instagram and as always a big thank you for being here and supporting my YouTube channel. Okay that's enough of me let's get into the food. This is for single serve vegan desserts. Did I say that correctly? I think I said it correctly. This is for single serve vegan desserts and I hope you enjoy. Okay, so the first thing we are making today are some cookie dough balls and these are really, really good to make in advance and enjoy for dessert throughout the week and they are also very, very easy to make. So I first of all started with some vegan butter as well as brown sugar and almond butter, which I put into a bowl. If you don't wanna use vegan butter, you can sub the vegan butter for more or peanut butter or almond butter or whatever you like. I use an electric mixer to mix it all together and then I added in oat flour as well as almond meal and again I mix this with an electric mixer so that it was nice and smooth. After that I then chopped some vegan chocolate into small chunks. You can do this or you can get vegan choc chips if you can find them where you live. I personally couldn't find them where I lived hence the uh, chocolate chunks. So I mixed this all together until it was nice and smooth. And then from there, I rolled the cookie dough into cookie dough balls. If you just wanted to eat the cookie dough as is, you could definitely do that as well. I put these in the fridge for about 20 minutes is basically all that they will need to get a really, really nice texture. You wanna keep them in the fridge covered throughout the week if you're gonna enjoy them throughout the week. And as you can see, they have a really, really beautiful and delicious texture. Okay, so next we are making a chocolate brownie pancake because personally, pancakes can be breakfast, but they can also be dessert. I made these gluten-free with some gluten-free plain flour as well as cocoa powder, baking soda, and a pinch of salt. You can do this with regular wheat plain flour if you would like to. I mixed this together and then I added in natural coconut yogurt as well as maple syrup. And then I added a little bit of plant-based milk and I mix this together until it was nice and smooth. It will be a very, very thick mixture. So I greased a frying pan with a little bit of vegan butter. If you have a nonstick pan, you don't need to do that. And then I put the mixture onto the frying pan and allowed it to cook as a normal pancake would until it was nice and crispy on both sides, but still soft in the middle. From there, I plated it up and then on top I served some more coconut yogurt. You could do vegan ice cream if you like. I also put some fresh strawberries because I love strawberries and chocolate together but you could add any other fruit that you would like as well and of course I finished it off with a drizzle of maple syrup. This is really decadent and fluffy and super delicious and the perfect single serve dessert. Next up we are making a stovetop apple crumble which again is very very easy. In a bowl I mixed some almond meal as well as vegan butter and maple syrup. Again, you can sub the vegan butter for a nut butter. Uh, just keep in mind that it probably will give it that sort of flavor. I mixed this together until it was a really nice crumb and then I got one apple which I cut into small pieces. The smaller the better essentially with this. And then from there in a frying pan over the heat, I added in my crumb mixture that I had made. I didn't need to grease the frying pan because there's vegan butter in the mixture. Then I added in my apples. And then from there, I also added in an extra drizzle of maple syrup. You don't need to do this, but you can do it if you would like a little bit of extra sweetness. Then I served this up onto a plate. As you can see, it's really golden and really crumbly crumbly and super delicious. I added some coconut yogurt on top, but again, you could add vegan ice cream if you would like to. And yeah, this was super delicious and refreshing. You could also sub out the apples for another fruit. Okay, our last dessert of the day is a cookie caramel frappe. I think I said that correctly how I put it on my website. So I started with some ice cubes as well as plant-based milk. Then I added in some almond butter, which again, you can sub for another nut butter. I added in some maca powder, which always gives a caramelly flavor, as well as some cacao powder and then maple syrup. 
which again, you can sub maple syrup for like agave or rice malt if you would like to. I added in some chocolate again, and then I put the lid on and I blended this all together. Frappes are one of my favorite desserts because they are super quick to make and you can do so many different flavors with them as well. This was really delicious, refreshing, decadent, all the good things and the perfect way to end today's video. Alrighty, my beautiful friends, that brings us to the end of today's video. Thank you so much for being here and for supporting me and my YouTube channel. I really, really appreciate it. The recipes from today's video are down in the description box below if you do want to try them out at home. As always, if you have any videos that you'd like to see me create, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear from you and I hope you have a really, really beautiful day. I will see you very soon for another video. Bye.